How you doing everyone? We've just beaten Brighton 2-1. Um, 97th minute winner. Another crazy ending to a Spurs game. It's kind of the story of Tottenham, isn't it? You can't leave any game when there's a few minutes to go because you just don't know what's going to happen. I think on the balance of play, a draw would have been fair. But you take a win. Always take um, a win if you can if you can get the winning goal. Um, I thought first half Spurs were very, very poor. I thought Brighton were the better team. Although Brighton didn't create a lot of chances, I have to say that. But I thought they were the better side. Playing out from the back, Spurs looked shaky. Vicario giving away a lot of sloppy passes. It seemed whenever we tried to play the ball to the midfielders from the back, no one could receive the ball and turn on the ball. And Madison had to drop deep because he, he was the only one in midfield that could receive the ball and turn. Um, we, we lost the ball as well playing out from the back when we tried to dribble it on the edge of our box, which is what led to the penalty, actually. If you go back and watch the penalty, it's because we tried to dribble it on the edge of our box instead of just keep passing it. So playing out from the back today, was it was a concern. And it was down to Vicario, sloppy passes. Midfielders not being able to receive the ball in the half turn. And also um, dribbling on the edge of the box. So things that we really need to improve. And we will over time if we keep practicing, practicing. And just cutting out those silly errors that we seem to make um, when playing out from the back. I felt the wide players didn't offer too much. I thought Kula was the better of the two. Timo Werner didn't really offer us much. Um, his crossing, I just don't think is good enough. Um, and then in the midfield, it was a fairly even game. I don't think they dominated us in midfield. And in the final third, Richie had a one-on-one -on -one chance. But like I've always said about Richarlison, and a lot of you don't like hearing it, in the, against the top eight teams, and Brighton is one of the top eight, he doesn't turn up. No assists and no goals. As a one-on-one -on -one situation, if that's Sun, it's a goal. And that's the difference. So, second half, I think we, we, we started better. And um, I'm being told to leave, so I've, I'm going to wrap this up. I thought the second half we started... Um, sorry, we didn't start better, we played better. But Brighton missed some glorious chances, drilling their shots just wide of the post. Even right at the end, they could have won it. And they've drilled it wide across the face of goal again. Um, I don't think it was a great performance from Spurs. We did create a couple of half chances. I just feel that we need to fix this playing out from the back. And it comes down to the midfielders being able to receive the ball and turn. And for us not to dribble on the edge of our box. And in the final third, it wasn't until Hyun Min Sun came on and actually put some decent deliveries from the wide area. Because Timo wasn't offering us anything in terms of good deliveries into the box. Brennan Johnson came on. I thought Brennan was poor. I'll say it for what it is. I don't think Brennan Johnson was good. He wasn't. He came on. He ran the ball off the pitch. He couldn't receive the ball. He lost possession. But he came up with uh, the back... Uh, the ball passed, a brilliant pass from Sun to the back stick and Brennan was there to tap it in from uh, four or five yards out. So look, we won the game happy. We're back into the top four. I still think Spurs will finish top four, but again, that, that these performances for me aren't good enough and it, we can't keep playing like this and getting away with it. So um, on to the next game. Let's try and win it. And I just want to see us get back to how we were playing at the start of the season where we looked good. We looked like we were dominating games. Today was another shaky one. So up the Spurs, 2-1. Let's go.